For the last 20 years, Ingham County has been part of a national movement in public health around health equity. Over 900 health department staff, community members, and elected and appointed officials have shaped this initiative, which is now embedded as one of our department's five core values. Our focus on health equity stems from the problem of persistent and preventable gaps in illness and death between different groups in Ingham County. For example, over the past 20 years, black infants in Ingham County died at a rate that was two to four times greater than the death rate for white babies. Similarly, the heart disease rate among black residents in Ingham County is 24% higher than for white residents. And the self-reported hypertension rate for Native American, Asian, Pacific Islander residents in Ingham County is nearly double that of other race groups. Many of us think that if we want to stay healthy, we simply need to eat healthy, exercise, get enough sleep, don't smoke, and go to the doctor. We incorrectly think that our own personal decisions are the only thing shaping our health. These things are important, but did you know there are many other factors besides personal behaviors that shape health? The way your neighborhood is built affects your health. Your health is also affected by things that surround your home, like factories, busy roads, or parks. Housing conditions affect your health, as do the educational and employment opportunities available to you. Health and wealth are highly correlated in the United States. People with low incomes are two to three times more likely to experience life-threatening heart attacks, depression, and diabetes than people with high incomes. Many of the opportunities for economic mobility available in other countries are not here in the United States. But when you look at the, uh, the wealth that, uh, that is amassed by, and the outcomes um, by not only racial minorities but also by women, you see huge discrepancies in terms of not only home ownership but also income, wealth, education level, unemployment rates. There's a huge discrepancy that exists. Black men who are employed only earn 71% of what white men earn. Regardless of financial resources, the chance of living in unhealthy housing is greater for people of color. These inequities persist due to what we call the root causes of health disparities, race and class discrimination, gender oppression, and biases against many other groups based on factors irrelevant to one's deservingness of health and well-being. Whether intentional or not, these root cause factors contribute to inequitable living and working conditions between different groups. We define health equity as a fair, just distribution of the social resources and social opportunities needed to achieve well-being. All fathers aren't just trying to dodge that bullet because in reality, a lot of fathers are really trying to make it right with their children. And nothing is more precious than being involved with our children, watching them grow, watching them take their first steps, watching them swing that first bat, win the winning touchdown, all of those different things, the progress that they make in life. We begin to talk about front of the core issues. We talk about how to implement policy changes, um, how to figure out how we can get dads to get some of their rearages covered, how to get dads to a place where they can hear what they can do to get front of the core issues worked out in a safe environment. There is a connection between substandard housing and asthma and other respiratory diseases. Substandard housing is associated with increased exposure to mold, to dust mites, rodents, cockroaches, and other important allergens. Health equity is not something that one person or one agency can accomplish. Our department is part of the Michigan Power to Thrive a coalition of health department leaders and community organizers tackling inequities in early childhood and criminal justice systems. Unfortunately, the playing field is far from level for different groups in the United States when it comes to moving up the economic ladder and securing healthy living and working conditions. The United States is the most wealthy and powerful country on earth, yet we die younger than people in less rich, less powerful countries, and we don't have equal opportunities for success and health. Only together can we become a place where everyone has a fair shot at a long and healthy life.